Hello creative designers and welcome on today's story. My name is Peter and on today's story we're just going to see how we can be able to disable the call to action button that says are you sure you just want to log out or you're just going to uh, you're just going to see how we can be able to stop WooCommerce how we can be able to add WooCommerce logout without confirmation. That's the tutorial for today. I'm just going to show you how you can do it without even installing a plugin. I'm just going to produce a code and I'm just going to produce a link on how you can be able to, uh, a link on how you can get the code and how you can even implement the code. So that is the tutorial for today. And without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. So the first thing we just need to do, we need to get the dashboard. Head on the dashboard menu. Now here we have the button for the plugin. Hold on it. Select add new because we need to add a plugin that will facilitate us when adding the code. We just the plugin is just free, and the code is called uh, the plugin is called Code Snippet. It's a very good plugin for you to have. You can see more than six hundred thousand active installations so far. Uh, last update just three days ago we just installed the plugin after successful installation now we need to activate the plugin so that we can be able to add the code on the dashboard menu now we have the button for the snippet just hop on it and click add new and what you just need to do i put the link on the description here where you can get the code just click on it scroll now to where you have it just copy this code from here to the find there just copy you come here and you paste it like that after that all you just need to do is you just save uh select line the snippet and where you can just leave it uh land it on the front end you can land it on the administration area so just select sni uh, land snippet everywhere and save and activate the code that now we have been able to do it the other one, the other thing I just uh, forgot is now we can need to offer a name so that we can be able to distinguish or just get the difference or just get to understand uh, uh, what this code is used for. So I just copy this one here and I just give it a name. So I just call it WooCommerce Logout without confirmation. So I copy this one and I paste it like that and I save the changes. With that now we have been able to add the function. You can just check it out. That's the best way you can be able to remove it off for free. And if you did learn something out of this tutorial, hope you and I hope you did learn something out of this tutorial. If you did learn something out of this tutorial, hit the thumbs up and till next time. Thank you.